on Sunday, I talked about Jeremiah 31. And Jeremiah 31 is a really important passage to Becky and I in terms of God calling us to plant the springs and what the springs DNA is going to look like. But I believe that for all of us, it's important for us to, to go back and to remember. Remember the things that God has said. Remember the things that God has done in the past. Remember and anchor, re-anchor back into what God has said. It's part of what happens with the people of Israel with the festivals and the, the setting up of stones, uh, little monuments after d God does sp sp specific things in, in their lives that the Lord knows that you and I, we're forgetful, that we're a forgetful kind of people, that we, we, we assimilate truth. God does things, we see God work, and then over time, we just forget. We're a forgetful people. I hope I, I think that you would agree with it, that. And with that in mind, it's important for us to re-anchor in what God has done and what God has said so that we are living in the truth of what God has done instead of living in this sort of amnesia state where we kind of act like that God hasn't been good or that God hasn't spoken or God hasn't intervened or put something in our lives. And so I want to ask you to to start to catalog, to sit down maybe with if you're married with your spouse, if you're if you're uh, if you're not with a friend or sit down with your journal and start to chronicle, start to write down those things that God has said to you in the past when, you know, and, and it happens in all kinds of different ways that that you'll be reading the scripture and something will leap off the page at you. What was that? You'll be in a message on Sunday morning or you'll just be fellowshipping with people at church on Sunday morning and someone will say something and it's a laser that God has said something to you that he wants you to remember, that he wants you to anchor into and he wants us to remember those things. But we've got to do our due diligence to remember and to re-anchor into what God has done and what God has said.